November 21st. It is finished. John 17, 4 says, I have finished the work which you have given me to do. The death of Jesus Christ is the fulfillment in history of the very mind and intent of God. There is no place for seeing Jesus Christ as a martyr. His death was not something that happened to him, something that might have been prevented. His death was the very reason he came. Never build your case for forgiveness on the idea that God is our Father and He will forgive us because He loves us. That contradicts the revealed truth of God in Jesus Christ. It makes the cross unnecessary and the redemption much ado about nothing. God forgives sin only because of the death of Jesus Christ. God could forgive people in no other way than by the death of His Son. And Jesus is exalted as Savior because of His death. We see Jesus for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor. Hebrews 2, 9 The greatest note of triumph ever sounded in the ears of a startled universe was that sounded on the cross of Christ. It is finished. John 19, 30 That is the final word in the redemption of humankind. Anything that lessens or completely obliterates the holiness of God through a false view of His love contradicts the truth of God as revealed by Jesus Christ. Never allow yourself to believe that Jesus Christ stands with us and against God out of pity and compassion, or that He became a curse for us out of sympathy for us. Jesus Christ became a curse for us by divine decree. Our part in realizing the tremendous meaning of this curse is the conviction of sin. Conviction is given to us as a gift of shame and repentance. It is the great mercy of God. Jesus Christ hates the sin in people, and Calvary is the measure of this hatred. 